What is good boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I came up with this new NBA quiz idea or, or game idea. So I hit on my boy Craig to create a quiz to go along with this premise because obviously if I create a quiz and I take it, you know, there's a conflict there. But let me give you the idea. So each statement that, that Craig provided us with is false. Every question is false, but we have to guess whether or not the number is too high or too low. Is it under the number or over the number? If that makes sense, you'll get exactly what I mean once we get to the quiz. Now, now Craig doesn't have the best reputation on my channel for creating quizzes for me. Don't forget, Craig. We remember some of the bad ones, but hopefully this one is fire. Let's check it out. So it's a relatively short one, 12 questions, because this is a new idea. I want to see how y'all um, perceive it before we go something big. So let's see. First one, John Wall has less or more assist than Vince Carter so you kind of get the idea we have to guess whether more or less higher or lower you get it all right let's think about this logically Vince Carter has been in the league for a billion years pretty much it just seems like he's he's never gonna end he even said that he's got one more at least one more year left in the tank but Vince Carter is not known for his passing ability he's always just a score really now John Wall has been top tier in assists for pretty much all he's been in the league except for maybe his rookie season I'm going to go John Wall has more assists. I'm going to go John Wall has more. And that's right. John Wall has 4,600 and Vince Carter has 4,500. That's a big difference. 1,000 is a big difference. But let's keep going. Number two, Michael Jordan is 30th all-time in turnovers. Um, okay, let's... So if we pick over, I think that means that we think he's either number one between 29. And if we pick under, he's got to be 31 to the bottom. Now, Michael Jordan's had the ball in his hands so much time in those years, he has to be top 30 in assists. I mean, in turnovers. He just has to be. I mean, it just makes sense. He wasn't perfect. He's the greatest, but he wasn't perfect. So, over. And that's right. He's tw Oh, he's, <laughs> he's 29th. He's barely in the cut. That's crazy. How many points he scored and that many turnovers. All right. Number three. Manu Ball has 15 games with 10 plus blocks. Oh, my God. So does Manu Bo have more than 15 games or under 15 games with 10 plus blocks? Now, I know Manu Bo is one of the best shot blocks of all time, but 15 games with 10 plus blocks seems really high. So I'm going to go under. Wow. 17 games with 10 plus blocks? I'm sleep on Manu, man. I mean, not really, because I mean, I know he's such a, he was a great shot blocker, but 17 games with 10 plus blocks. Okay. Number four, Magic Johnson. Career high single game steals record is seven. No, um, he has it's over. His it's nine. High nine steals in a game. That was against the Phoenix Suns, and I think they still lost that game. Magic Johnson had nine steals and they still lost. Number five, Kobe Bryant averaged 25 points per game for 15 seasons. Now, Kobe fans, don't be mad at me, but if I get this wrong, but I think Kobe was in the league for 20 years, right? So, 15 out of his 20 years did he average 25 or more points. That seems pretty high, man. 25 points per game is hard to do, but Kobe's one of the, the best scorers of all time. I'm going to go under. 25 just seems way too high. And that's right. It was 12 years, which is still incredible. Which is still incredible. Number six. Craig, what a, what a picture for this one, that Craig. Come on now. Shaq broke five backboards his rookie season. That seems way too high. I know he at least broke one because I remember a picture of the backboard down and he's like covering his head. So I know he broke at least one his rookie season. But five? I'm going to go under. Oh, that, there's a picture. This is not the picture I was thinking of. But hey, I mean, that, I think that may have been the same game though. He broke two backboards his rookie season. That's when they start to bring, like, pull-away rims because of Shaq and Daryl Dawkins were just breaking stuff. Just breaking it. Heavy, heavy dudes, strong dudes dunking the ball, breaking things. Number seven. University of Kentucky has 20 players in the NBA way over. I think it's closer to 30 now. Look at this. All four of these guys made it to the league. Marquis Teague is no longer in the league. Second overall pick. First overall pick. Don't remember what overall pick, but over. Wow, okay. He let... <laughs> Craig, that's, that's going over and beyond. 25 players in the league. DeMarcus Cousins, John Wall, anybody here that's no longer in the league, because I know he didn't do the research himself. He probably copied it off an article. Um, 
Tayshaun Prince is no longer in the league. And Nazi Muhammad's no longer in the league. But everybody else is still there. Number eight. Brian Scalabrini's career high is 30. Now, I know y'all consider Brian Scalabrini the GOAT. But I don't think he's ever hit a 30 mark. Mm -mm. I remember him as Bull. And besides that one reverse layup that we've seen. No, I'm going to go under. That's right. But only by one point. Uh, I barely made the cut. 29 was his career high. Rick Fox has been in 50 plus movies and TV shows. Now, Rick Fox, as you can see, he played for the Lakers at his career. He just started to be in every movie possible. He was in a bunch of Medea movies. Um, but 50 seems way too high. I think he retired in, what, 2005-ish? Between 2005 and 2017, was he in 50 plus movies or TVs? I'm going under. That's wrong? 51 movies. Rick Fox, hey, he on his Kevin Hart stuff. He, he just said anything, anything that's paying money, he want to do it. And I respect that because money make the world go sight around. Money makes the world go round. Number 10, Nico Miritich's career high in threes a game is seven. No. What is it though? Is it nine? He hit like a bunch of threes against um, the Knicks. I don't remember if it was this season or last season, but the Bulls still lost that game. Over. It was nine versus the Knicks. Um, this season, last season, but we still lost that game, man. That many threes and still lost. Number 11, Kevin Love has never broken a backboard. Over or under? Uh, I guess over means he's broken at least one and under means zero? There's no... I, he has not broken NBA backboard. And this is supposed to be NBA over and under. So I'm going to go under. What... This is not NBA, but let's see what this is about. Oh, oh, Kevin, he just, he just stood there. Hold on, Kevin Love breaks a backboard. I mean, what are you supposed to do in that situation? Break it? He's like, oh, do I got to clean that up? Okay, K Love. I wonder, what do you do? What happens in that situation? I don't know. Did the game can't? I don't know. Do they shoot on one rim? That was the last question. Tony Parker has 25 career playoff points. That seems a bit high. I know he's like top five. I saw that actually on a graphic today for the uh, Houston Rockets versus San Antonio Spurs game. But 4,500 seems extremely high. So because I'm going to go under. Yes, that's right. He's got just, just over 4,000. Thank you, Craig H23, my boy, for creating this. I think it was pretty fun. I don't think he made he may have made mistakes, but I wouldn't be able to tell you. Maybe somebody in the comment section below will. We got nine out of twelve, which is cool. Let me know if you like this concept. I can get my boy Craig. If I throw him two dollars, he'll make a quiz that's like twice as long and twice as good. He just need a little bit of chatter in his pocket. But thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more fire.